it possible to make Fox News viewers change their minds about key issues just by having them change the channel? That's what a new study suggests. The researchers paid some Fox News fans to watch CNN for 30 days, and then they asked them some questions. The results are fascinating. A new study just found that even the most committed Fox News viewers can change their mind if they just change the channel. Seriously. A couple researchers paid Fox News viewers as part of a study to change their viewership from Fox to CNN. And they worked with a large group and half of the group continued watching Fox and the other half switched to CNN. So they had a control group to measure the impact of viewership habits. They were given quizzes on current news stories to see what each group saw and consumed and then ultimately what they thought if it changed their opinion and their trust in each network. David, what did you find? Uh, I keep think the real key finding here from our perspective is essentially that we find that partisan media is sort of hiding information from voters. And I think there's kind of an analogy to Putin's Russia where right now, Russians, we know, are not getting all the information about what's actually happening in Ukraine. And in the same way that we found during the Trump presidency, uh, those watching Fox News weren't getting all the information about what was really happening, for example, with COVID and otherwise in the Trump administration. And they conducted this experiment in September 2020, which was at the height of the presidential election. What they found was that viewership habits actually changed their political opinions. The Washington Post summarized this. The Post article said they were seven points more likely to support voting by mail, and they were 10 points less likely to believe that supporters of then-candidate Joe Biden were happy when police officers get shot, 11 points less likely to say it's more important for the president to focus on containing violent protesters than on the coronavirus, and 13 points less likely to agree that if Biden were elected, we'll see many more police get shot by Black Lives Matter activists. Uh, folks who previously watched Fox News start getting, watching CNN, they learn all these things they didn't know before about, for example, the fact that um, the US at the time was not doing as well as many other countries when it came to controlling COVID, things that Fox News didn't really want to say. Fox News was in fact telling people that, oh, COVID's not as big of a deal. And since this was during the pandemic, it also changed their views on how the US was handling it. People who were in the CNN group were more likely to acknowledge the U.S. lagged behind the rest of the developed world in handling the pandemic. And they were also more likely to acknowledge that long COVID is a real risk. This all reflects how Fox skews its coverage. For example, in the past three weeks alone, Fox has run 170 different segments attacking trans people. And you can assume, based on their prior coverage of trans people and trans rights, and this study that that's going to lead to a more negative view of trans people and the fight for trans rights among Fox viewership. This has real world consequences. This will certainly lead to more attacks on trans people and also sets up the right for turning it into a political wedge issue. We're already seeing that in Republican state legislatures across the country. And that's because Fox is masterful at creating new outrages. They find new issues to scaremonger over, and that leads to an angry viewership. New controversies materialize almost out of thin air. And then suddenly millions of people are furious and demand immediate action. And this can range from a variety of different issues. You saw how they handled immigrant caravans and how they scaremongered over those. You saw a spike in how many times that was mentioned when it was, became a political hot button issue. They'll try to enrage their viewers over everything from the substantive to the trivial. Just look at how critical race theory became a controversy. It happened almost overnight, despite being around since the 1970s. You can see here in this Google search data that nobody was really thinking or talking about it until the right started to use it as a hot button issue. It hadn't turned them into liberals. It, it didn't make them want to vote for Joe Biden. <laughs> They had just had access to a different set of information. And I think we underestimate the degree of, of pliability in our opinions and our views. I think what was most surprising about this was that the people who were selected to watch CNN kept watching the network after the study concluded. And that's because researchers found that once they switched their consumption habits, 
they started to trust the outlet more, despite Trump's repeated attacks on CNN's integrity. And to be clear, I'm not saying you should watch CNN. Frankly, I think all cable news is unhealthy. They all resort to desperate pandering to work their audiences into a frenzy to drive up ratings, which helps them boost profits through ad revenue. And I really gotta admit, I was surprised overall by this study. I'm of the mindset that a lot of Fox viewers are just lost causes. They live in an alternate reality. I think we all know someone in our lives who started watching Fox years ago, and now they're completely brainwashed. The issues that are important to them aren't tethered to the real world. This all illustrates the danger of cable news. It's an unhealthy medium, it misleads people, and it's purely sensational. Responsible print and independent media are much better alternatives. The danger of partisan cable media whipping up viewers into a frenzy cannot be overstated. Fox does it to benefit the Republican Party, but sometimes there are really dark, real-world consequences.